Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Advice for When You Feel Like Shit. Today, we are talking about being at peace. Aiming for peace. And what I mean by that is instead of having happiness as your end goal, have being at peace your end goal. Because happiness can be very short term, whereas being at peace is long term. Happiness can come very quickly and it can be taken away from you like that. Whereas being at peace, that can't be taken away. Not quickly at least. It'll take a lot to stop someone who is at peace being at peace. So, how does one achieve being at peace instead of being happy? You can be happy while you're at peace, but you can also be happy and not be at peace, so if that makes sense. So I find if you want to be happy, you need to please your brain, your mind, and you need to please your heart. You know, pleasing either one of those is going to give you some happiness. But if you want to be at peace, you need to please your soul. There are differences between happiness and being at peace. Like for me, happiness, I could write a song, I'd be happy. I could buy a new sweater and I'd be happy. I could, you know, do a cool tattoo and I would be happy. I could go to Hawaii and I would be happy. But for me to be at peace, I need to live alone. I need to spend the majority of my day alone. I need to be my own boss, essentially. For me to be at peace, I need time to do my writing, I need time to do my music, I need time to do my art. For me to be at peace, I need to be able to take my dogs places, which means I need to be able to drive, and I need to have a car, <laughs> and I need to be able to take them there. Buying a car makes me happy, but having the car helps me be at peace. So I find if you're gonna aim for being at peace as opposed to happy, it might help you kind of sort out your priorities and what you need to do short term in order to help you long term, if that makes sense. This is kind of goes back to that video where I talk about the separation of your soul and your mind and your heart and your body. They all want different things, but if you strive for pleasing your soul and nurturing your soul, that is what's gonna help you be at peace. And being at peace, it, it's fucking sick. There's a, um, there's a rune, there's a Nordic rune called Soelu, which it, it kind of sums up being at peace, really. Um, while I have my book here, actually, I'll just read that for you. Soelu kind of represents wholeness. Soelu stands for wholeness, that which your nature requires. It embodies the impulse towards self-realization and indicates the path you must follow, not from ulterior motives, but from the core of your individuality. Your soul. Seeking after wholeness is the spiritual warrior's quest, and yet, what you are striving to become in actuality is what, by nature, you already are. Your soul. So yeah, this, this rune of wholeness, this rune of like, it kind of represents your whole life, you are striving to find peace, when in actuality, once you have achieved that, you kind of realize that it's who you really were the whole time, and all this other nonsense was just you trying to essentially please other people or other parts of you that weren't your soul. I feel like I pretty much summarized all of this in that whole mind, body, soul, heart video. But, you know, it's, it's something a little different to talk about. Striving for being at peace versus happiness. I know there's, I think it's John Lennon has a quote where when he was a kid, you know, they asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up and the answer was happy. I feel like that's good, that's awesome. But happiness can be so short-lived, and I feel like chasing happiness can almost be dangerous versus, you know, striving, doing everything you can to achieve being at peace is 
safer and better in the long run. Because there's a lot of short-term shit you can do and give yourself a little burst of happiness. For some people, getting wasted makes them happy for that moment. But it's not going to actually improve your life. That's why I stopped drinking. It's just short-term happiness. I've known a lot of people who have been happy while drunk, but they weren't. It didn't make them happy, it just made them able to kind of forget the shit that was going on when they were sober. And I feel like if you're aiming for happiness, yeah, you could get drunk on the weekend and you could be happy on the weekend. But if you're aiming for being at peace, you're gonna do everything you can to change the core problem as opposed to dealing with the symptoms aka being unhappy. So, yeah. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Hope you guys like this video. <laughs> and until next time, adios, motherfuckers.